Hi guys, welcome to another video for your travels through Valheim. My name is Russo and in today's video I will be covering tips and tricks I've found on how to progress after you've defeated the first boss. Now before we begin I just want to say um, don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment uh, and hit that notification bell. It does help my channel and when we hit 200, sorry 100 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway. So with that out of the way, grab a drink, grab some food, crack your knuckles. Let's get started. So our first tip of the day, guys, is moving to the dark forest. Now, what you want to do after you've defeated Ichthia, Ichthia, however you want to pronounce it, you want to move into the dark forest. So. Take all the stuff with you, uh, food, armor, weapons, all that stuff. Uh, you don't need to move house specifically. Just bring some wood, build another house, and move it to the dark forest. That way, uh, you can gather all the materials that you need, and you won't be far away from uh, the next boss, the Elder. You won't be far away from him if you're in the dark forest, pretty much. So just move your house. Um, yeah, pretty simple. So our second tip is to find burial chambers. Now, burial chambers uh, can be found throughout the dark forest, um, and they tend to look like little burial chambers, I guess. Um, so what you want to do is you want to find them and mark them on the map, uh, so burial chambers. So to mark them on the map, just double click, and then you can write stuff. So, hello world, pretty much. Just like that. If you want to get rid of it, just left click um, to say that's been used or to right click that will get rid of it. You can also change it from a fireplace to a house to a big T thing, a dot and a shrine looking thing. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can. Completely up to you. Now, find the burial chamber. It'll look either like a little, um, a little cave like this. Burial chambers, or it'll be um, like a little house, okay, just made of stone. Um, and yeah, you just go into it and search through the whole thing. Okay, I shouldn't have gone back out. Search through the whole thing, you'll find certain cores which you need to a make um, teleporters, okay, but also to make uh, the charcoal kiln and the smelter, okay. So you need five certain cores for that and five for the charcoal kiln. You'll need those to melt down all the copper and tin you will find, but we'll cover that in a second. So our third tip for today is mining copper and tin. Now, as you can see this rock I am on, if you look at it, uh, it has little bits of uh, yellow gl glowing. And if you look at it, it'll say copper deposit. That's obviously what you need to mine. Um, touching back to the second tip, I said that barrel chambers can look like little houses. This is one right here. So either look for that or a little cave. Um, but going back to the copper deposit, what you want to do is uh, make a pickaxe with uh, the stuff you got from the first boss. So those big antler things, you need that and I'm pretty sure some wood. Um, so make yourself a pickaxe and start mining all the copper that you can find. Now, whenever you come across a deposit, um, you should should either mark it if you don't have time to get it because they weigh a lot, or, well, just mine it, okay? And tin is found along the shoreline, okay? So run, run along the shoreline. It kind of looks like that rock right there. Uh, not the green part, just the black part. And you go up to it and it'll say tin. But I've mined all the tin in this area, so I probably won't be able to show you. But tin spawns in the water or just next to it. Tip number four, guys, is smelting. So with smelting, what you'll need is a charcoal kiln, which is right in front of me, and you'll need a smelter. So what happens is when you get up, when you build a smelter, what you do is place it down. You can put coal in the right hand side and uh, or in the left hand side so either copper tin and even iron when you get up to it 
So that goes in there and you need coal to have it work and then it pops out and comes in a little bar right in front of you. With the charcoal kiln to get the coal, grab any wood, doesn't matter which wood, so fine wood, uh, normal wood and cool wood and chuck it in you can get up to 25 okay so one one bit of wood gives you one coal pretty simple now the thing with teleporters is you cannot take ore through them okay so you can't take ore and you can't take dragon eggs through teleporters so if for whatever reason you've built your tele uh, not teleporters if you've built your charcoal kiln and your smelter at your house and your house is a million miles away and you need a teleporter best thing to do is surface skip which if you want me to explain and show you how to i can do it uh let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a quick video on service skipping to use all uh, to transfer all the ores but as you can see i just picked up the ore and it'll say an item prevents you from teleporting so have your charcoal kiln and smelter in the black forest uh, and you'll be able to just come home and use the ore Tip number five, guys, is making weapons and armor. So, when you get your six copper, you can make a forge. So, you need six copper, ten wood, four coal, and four stone. So, you make the forge, and then you've got a whole bunch of things that you can make, like curious leggings, axes, a whole bunch of stuff. Now, what you want to do is just, just make... The bronze axe, the bronze plate leggings, bronze plate, bronze plate curious. You want to make a bronze helmet, and then run over to your workbench and make a fine wood bow. Okay, that's all. Don't use uh, copper for any, uh, bronze for anything else. Okay, you don't really need to stay out and farm and farm even more because I know how long it takes to make uh, bronze. So you don't need to keep going and getting at least 100, 200 copper and tin to make the whole set. So if you just want to just get by and do it well, just get the axe, the armor, and the bow. Tip number six, guys, is making teleporters. So with teleporters, what you need to do is kill a bunch of graylings. Poor things. Not really. They're so annoying. You need 10 great off eyes. You need 20 fine wood and you need two certling cores. So nice and easy. Hopefully you've found enough for your charcoal kiln and smelter. And now you can build a portal. So you just place it down. The runes on the front are the front of the portal. So when you come out, you come through that. And the back obviously doesn't have anything on it. So make sure it's facing the right way. You don't want to run straight into a brick wall or wooden wall. And you can place it down. Now, I've got one on the other side of this. Um, but you'll see that it says unconnected. So, what you need to do is set a tag and call it something. Now, I've called the other portal trader. And it is specific. Uh, sorry. It. What's the word? Um. Fuck. Okay, it says we've... Back of the portal. This brick wall. Now, when you've placed it down, you will see that it says unconnected and... <clears throat> Start again. Now, after you've placed it down, you'll see that it says unconnected and to set a tag. So, what you have to do is set a tag pretty simple call it something i've called the other one trader but my one has a capital t and this one doesn't so if it's not case sensitive if so capital t and then the rest of trader uh, it's not going to work so make sure that you spell it exactly the same each way and then you can go through tip number seven is making a boat so what you want to do when you've gone to your forge you want to make nails okay bronze nails you need four bronze to make 80 nails and then you can build 
a carve. So you need 80 nails, 20 resin, 10 dehyde, and 30 wood. So you just click that, obviously put it in the ocean, and you're good to go. Okay. I obviously don't have the items needed, but to sail, what you need to do is obviously use the rudder, uh, press W to make it go forward, and what you're going to do is see that the, uh, the triangle comes up. That's just you paddling, okay? So if you're in no wind, you don't have it like the wind's coming in front of you, and you're sailing into the wind, as you can see on the little circle, uh, you want to have it just like that. Obviously, when you have wind, double tap it, and the sails will come all the way down, and you'll start moving. Now, to go backwards, obviously, just press the S button, okay? And you'll start to turn around backwards, uh, just in case you got yourself into a tricky spot. As you can see, when I jumped out, the ship stopped. So if you have full sails going, and you're just about to crash, if you need to make the boat stop, which it will go on its own, just jump out of it, and it will raise the sails itself. Tip number eight is making carts. Have you ever woken up feeling rested? You look outside your house and you're like, oh, time to mow down that complete forest or mine all those rocks. But you fill up and you don't have any more inventory space. Carts will be your best friend. You can stack another 18. You can stack another 18 items in the cart itself. And it doesn't matter the weight itself. It will be a little bit heavy to carry, but you can have, let's say, four ton in it. Okay, and you can drag it along and, well, you know how to use a cart. Pretty simple. It does get a little heavy and try to be wary when going up uh, mountains and stuff, but other than that, you should be pretty sweet. To make a cart, you need 10 bronze nails and 20 wood. Pretty simple. It's going to be your best friend when you're mining, uh, say, copper and stuff. Now you're Gucci. Tip number nine is collect all that thistle. Now, when you run around the dark forest, you'll see glowing little thistles just like this, okay? You see them glowing, sometimes they're in the little misty parts, but other times they're just alone by themselves. You want to collect every single one that you find, okay? Get off the beaten track, go straight for it, collect it, and then continue on your way. You will need them for when you get up to the swamps, which is going to be in the next video. But pretty much, you need them to make sausages, okay? So you need four thistle, two entrails, and one bit of meat to make sausages. And four thistles, if you collect it now, you'll be swimming in sausages that's a little bit gross but pretty much you'll have an abundance of sausages when you get up to the swamps okay so always 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 click thistle tip number 10 is making fire arrows so you want to defeat the boss okay you want to defeat the elder you're all ready you've got all your fine wood bow you've got the bronze axe and you've got the bronze armor okay you're ready to go what you need to do before you do uh go versus the boss is to make fire arrows okay you need workbench level two i know you can do that but to make fire arrows you need eight resin eight wood and two feathers okay so collect all that resin that you've been killing uh from uh, getting from killing all the gray dwarfs and graylings and all that stuff kill every bird you can find and you'll be good to go, okay? He's a big tree dude, burning to death, and you will be sweet. So the final tip, tip number 11, is the trader. Now, the trader is Halder, okay? And Halder only spawns in the Black Forest. So if you're looking for him, only look in the Black Forest biome. You don't need to look for him. Swamps, obviously ocean, plains, meadows, mountains, anything like that. Only the Black Forest will spawn, and apparently he spawns either to a little bit to the left or right, but mainly north or south of where you first spawn. Okay, so when you get to him, there's a massive bubble, and if you get close enough, I think within two kilometers, um, the symbol of the trader, that, 
will pop up, okay? So I was about there and it popped up for me, so I ran straight to him. Now, when you get there, he's got a bubble, so if you're getting chased uh, by any enemies, they will evidently go away because he's placed some runes that protect this place from combat. Now, you've got Halda the Trader, and you've got Hellstein the Lox, okay? Kind of a Lox nest monster, no? Anyway, you can go up to Halda and talk to him. Now, you'll obviously have to bring all your amber and pearls and rubies and all that stuff. Bring that. You can sell it to him by clicking that button, and then you can buy either a Yule hat, which is a Christmas hat, pretty snazzy, wear it. Uh, Diverger circlet, which gives you a light source, so it's helpful when going in the swamps, in the crypts. Um, obviously gives you a little bit of light. You've got Megan Jord, pretty sure I pronounced that correctly, which uh, lets you carry an extra 100 kilo, I'm going to say. So you get 400 instead of 300. Doesn't give you any extra uh, inventory slots, though. You can get Yimir Flesh, uh, you can get a fishing rod, which is obviously handy for catching fish, and then you can cook fish and eat it, and it gives you a lot of health bonus. And finally, there's the bait, times 50, so buy a bunch of that, okay? So use like 100, get get 500 bait, and then just go fishing as you like, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you made it this far, leave a comment and say the word Halda because you saw the trader. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video on what to do after you defeat the first boss. Um, I hope the tips, tricks and tips have helped and if you thought I missed anything uh, just leave a comment below. Don't forget that with um, my giveaway there has to be 100 subscribers at least on YouTube uh, so smash that button go tell people to come and subscribe to me as well. Uh, if you can, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and comment. It really helps my videos. Until next time, guys. Someone get the lights on the way out, but I'll see you next time.